today is a super big day for me and I'm so glad you came to see. I'm about to do my first video tutorial on Canvas. The first thing I did was get out a 12 by 12 canvas and I gave that baby three coats of black paint and then I let it dry a few days. Now before I go any further, I wanna make sure y'all know I am not a canvas expert. Y'all know that 99% of the things I've done this far have been on stone. In fact, this is only gonna be my fifth canvas ever. So you can imagine that I might not do things properly or have the correct fancy tools that you need to make a mandala of this size. What I do have is a lot of resourcefulness and I plan to use it. All right, you guys, be patient with me and let's have some fun. YOLO. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to make a big X from corner to corner on this canvas. That's gonna help me find my center. But y'all, my ruler did not reach, so I just grabbed a piece of poster board and did my best. Now, I don't have a clue where my protractor is, so happy dotting company to the rescue. That's right, I'm gonna use my favorite stencil here I am just gonna mark this outer side to give me some guidelines. Now I'm just using a regular old ruler and my watercolor pencil to make the lines all the way across. Now my ruler isn't gonna be long enough to do any of these diagonal lines, but I think you could figure out how to slide that ruler across an inch or two and make it fit just like this. Easy peasy. got all my straight lines now I need some circles but y'all my compass just isn't cut out for this kind of work and you know I love making stencils out of paper so that's just what I did I took some cardstock I poked holes all in it and I made myself a stencil and then I even evolved from there I got this piece of flexible cutting board that's what I use for my background in my videos and I sliced an edge off of that joker and I made one of these that is going to last forever. Check it out. I used an awl and I poked holes every centimeter all the way down this piece of flexible cutting board. Let me show you. idea so if you're wanting to follow along and make the same guidelines just know that each one of these holes is one centimeter apart you can make your circles with those measurements or you can make the same DIY stencil that's gonna give you all the guidelines you need how cool is that I'm gonna use these three plastic lids and I'm gonna put them under my canvas so that as I'm holding this down in the center I don't accidentally poke a hole in my canvas that would really stink <laughs> All right, let me show you how this all works. Well, there you have it. Now you guys know how I got my guidelines. You are welcome to get them any way you know how. I just wanted to be totally transparent and show you how I did it. Okay, now let's pick some paint colors. a design. Now y'all don't laugh at me, but I'm going to use a Dixie cup. I figure everybody knows the size of a Dixie cup. <laughs> I'm going to use it to place four circles on my canvas like this. This Dixie cup is five and a half centimeters wide, the full diameter. 
All right, I have no idea why I drew four circles on my canvas. Honestly, this is just how I design my artwork. I give myself something to work with, work around, and then I just see where my imagination goes. My initial idea here was to start with like a flower in the center, like with the petals going outwards, and then taking that exact same petal and putting them inwards in the circles. But y'all, that all gets rearranged. I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm gonna start with the champagne gold.
Oh, you guys, I'm so proud of myself for this one. And don't worry, I did see that I missed those dots. And I swear I got them right before I began to spray. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> anyway, I hurried back, fixed them, let it dry again, and then sprayed it over. Isn't the finish of this very pretty? I love this Mod Podge spray. I'll leave a link for it down in the description, along with everything else I used. If you don't find it there, go check my website. There's a page there called Art Desk. It has everything I've ever used. All right, I've also got another video ready for you next Sunday. Remember, we're doing every other Wednesday, so I'm going to see you Sunday. Until then, check out this video that YouTube thinks you're going to want to watch. And until next time, rock on!